Hey everyone, and welcome to a new OpenRC2 update video. Now, at OpenRC2, developers have released a new release version, OpenRC2 version 0.4.13, and they have named it Blessed Are the Cheese Makers, which is, of course, another Monty Python reference. I think it was Blessed Are the Cheese Makers. Now, um, in this video, uh, I will show you some of the changes that I think are most exciting. Uh, you can read the full change log in the link that I will leave in the video description. Anyway, uh, let's dive into the first feature that was added. Alright, the first change is to a feature you probably didn't know existed, uh, but we can actually uh, record gameplay actions in the game. So uh, if I go in the in-game console and I type, for example, uh, uh, replay start record, well, let's name the record 1. Now you can see it says recording here at the bottom of the screen. And then uh, let's make some paths. And for example, we could uh, build a merry-go-round. Oops. Well, let's just go with this one. The entrance and exit. And we put it in test mode. And now we type replay stop record. Now um, we can actually uh, play back this recording. So we do that by typing uh, replay start one so now you will see it uh, replays back these uh, actions that were just uh, recorded i can speed it up a little bit and here you can see uh, it uh, does this action and now replay uh, playback is complete now um previously what used to happen is that for every action uh, it would uh, move the camera to that point and it would show the text uh, playing back at the bottom of the screen um, and this, uh, well, I use this uh, playback feature to make nice time lapses. So I will just uh, play back the recording. I will just keep the camera in this spot and everything will happen before my eyes. And then uh, I'll just move the mouse pointer out of the screen. And uh, yeah, uh, that's a nice way to make a nice time lapse. So you can uh, actually do this now without camera movement by just putting a, a little a line of text in the shortcut that you use to open the game. Okay, the next feature is that uh, when you mouse over an object, you now see nothing below it here in this uh, uh, yeah, in this window. But if we enable debugging tools, and now you can actually see the authors uh, below the objects. So for example, this uh, object was made by Simon Foster and Toontowner. And this one was made by Chris Sawyer and Simon Foster. And when I disable debugging tools in the options, uh, we can no longer see this information. Okay, here's another new feature. Uh, here we have the carousel that I just placed. And we now go to the music tab. Uh, here we can, of course, select the music that it plays. Well, OpenR2 has two fairground organ styles that the merry-go-round can use. And what's new is that you can now actually see uh, uh, all the tracks that it plays uh, while uh, operating. So I think that's a, that's a neat little change. So uh, this will show for uh, all the music styles that uh, have uh, different tracks to choose from. Okay, the next changes are a little bit more technical. Um, yeah, several more uh, things have been exposed to the plugin API. So um, yeah, it's for example, ride satisfaction, uh, stuff, statistics. Um, don't know what this all means, but uh, basically it will allow plugins to become more powerful. And I've already seen many uh, players do incredible stuff with uh, plugins lately so this makes it uh, only more the more exciting okay the next change is another fun one uh, let's load a scenario which uh, which is pretty big let me quickly find one uh, let's go for imagination mega park now while it's loading the scenario you can also see this um, uh, progress bar in the form of its roller coaster moving along a track which I think is uh, pretty neat. So instead of just waiting uh, with a blank screen or nothing happening, you can actually now get a sense of the progress that it has made. And you will also see this progress bar for loading scenarios, but that will typically be a little bit faster. Okay, uh, another change is that a new music style was added to the game. So if we go to object selection, uh, we make sure that OpenRC2 official uh, is on as the filter. Then we go to music objects and here you will find progressive style and according to the tracks it's the song sonar from approaching nirvana so if you go to this little pirate ship here and we select progressive style uh, we can give it a quick uh, listen 
No, I think it's a nice and uh, modern track that you could definitely uh, find playing in a, a theme park. So I think it's a really nice addition to the game. Now, I'm not going to uh, play the entire uh, song here in the, in this video. Uh, you can listen uh, to it yourself in OpenRST2. Now, and that brings me to another change. You could already see it here in the object selection. Uh, several different groups of objects have been grouped together. So it was already done for the uh, rides, for the tracks. But now it has also been done, for example, for scenery. So here we have scenery groups, scener small scenery objects, large scenery objects, and walls. Paths have now also been uh, um, grouped together. So here we have uh, um, foot sur footpath surfaces, uh, railings. Here's uh, legacy footpaths, path objects, and banners. Now, entrances and ride entrances have been grouped together. For landscape tools, we have the uh, land surfaces, wall edges, and water objects, and music objects are in their own little group. So we no longer have this button here to show advanced, uh, but rather um, you can actually see all objects now and they're all neatly grouped together. I think uh, this is also uh, pretty nicely done. Something you will also see is that the filters uh, have been changed. So now uh, I think it's more clear uh, what the filter is actually set to. Uh, for example, here it now shows showing two sources because two things are uh, selected. But uh, right now, for example, it only shows custom objects. So I think this is also uh, more clear in uh, what kind of objects you're actually viewing in your uh, um, object selection screen. Now, another thing that you can find in the options is uh, a button that allows you to edit themes. And basically, uh, you can uh, yeah, change pretty much uh, every color of, uh, uh, of the different windows that you can find in the game. And something that was uh, newly added now is that you can actually set the color of your error windows. So there's uh, different uh, error windows that it can show. For example, fire staff. Well, that's probably not an error window. But here we have an actual error window. So here uh, we could uh, set it to a different color if we wanted. All right, uh, here's another little change. Uh, when you build a ride, it always comes with uh, some predetermined colors. And three rides have gotten a new uh, color scheme that the game can choose from. Uh, so that goes for the observation tower, the ferris wheel, and the twist. And these new color schemes have actually been based on their, their thumbnails in Rollercoaster Coaster Dragoon 1. I think they are pretty nice colors for these rides. Now, another change that was made is in the loading times. Uh, the OpenRC2 developers have worked hard to improve the loading times of uh, the game and uh, any save, uh, save files and scenarios uh, a lot. So, if you are starting up the game and uh, you have new objects, usually it will try to index all the objects. And some big uh, performance gains were found in that process. So when you start up the game and you see the loading uh, screen, uh, it should start up a lot faster than it did usually. Now there have also been uh, made some uh, nice gains in opening save files or scenarios. You could already uh, see me open up uh, Imagination Mega Park earlier, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, a lot faster than it uh, used to be. Now, uh, what this also helps with is that, well, a lot of people were having issues with actually being able to connect to multiplayer servers. Uh, so this uh, uh, performance gain will help uh, people to load into a server uh, before they get a network uh, timeout. So let's just uh, um, join a random server. So now we're getting the object list. Uh, previously, there was a seven second timeout. Uh, but now that timeout has been increased to 20 seconds. So you get a lot more time to actually be able to um, connect to a server. Now, uh, the improvements uh, in uh, performance for, uh, for this game will uh, also help you uh, not reach the 7 seconds. But yeah, um, I uh, tested it out with a server of my own. And uh, uh, people were actually uh, able to connect to my server again. So uh, yeah, I think this is great news for people who love to play on multiplayer servers. Okay, here's another change. Um, well, yeah, there's a hotkey that I actually like to use a lot, which is the T key. 
which hides all the toolbars and the windows. But uh, for people who actually um, accidentally press that button, it could cause a panic because uh, uh, they didn't know what button they pressed that did it. And then they couldn't get their uh, windows uh, back again, uh, which can be uh, quite annoying. Now, um, what the OpenRCT2 developers have chosen to do is to uh, yeah, not set that hotkey uh, by default any longer. So um, let's see where it is again. Yeah, here under the cogwheel icons, here we can see shortcut keys. And uh, I can see here for toggle visibility of toolbars. Now is the hotkey T set for it, but uh, by default it will just be blank. So if you want, uh, if you're doing a fresh install of the game and you don't have the uh, configuration file with your preferences, then this one will just be blank and you'll have to set it uh, to a hotkey that you like yourself. All right, now here's something which you may or may not know. But if the weather is, uh, is well, if it's raining in this game and a ride has a breakdown, there's actually a larger chance for it to be a, a brakes failure, which is probably a, a failure that you do not want to see. Now, um, the, in OpenRC2, uh, more weather types were added. So you can, for example, now also have uh, um, heavy snow, uh, snow or blizzard, which for now can only be set through cheats. But yeah, um, what they have done now is that if the weather is set to heavy snow or blizzard, the chance for a brakes failure is now also increased, just like uh, when it is raining. Okay, the next one I cannot really show you because I don't have any C files on hand. But basically, um, when you have a scenario file from RCT Classic, I believe it's a landscape or a scenario and not, not the actual save file, and they're stored as a C um, save file. And OpenRC2 can now actually read those. So I'm not really sure how many of you will actually get to use this, but at least now it's possible. Now, uh, several fixes have also been made to the game in the last release. Now, um, I already mentioned the loading times for saves uh, were improved. Uh, basically, when a save game was loaded, it was actually loaded twice. And now they only load it once, which definitely um, yeah, improves the, the loading time. Now, there was also um, a little bug where if you hide the toolbars, and then you're no longer able to uh, yeah, use the Terraform tools, even if you use the hotkey for it. I believe it's F1. Yeah. But now, as you can see, if I press F1, uh, it brings up the uh, Terraforming menu again. So you can even use this when the uh, UI is hidden. Now, um, some rides uh, were also given wrong tunnels. Uh, it mostly happened to some of the newer rides or uh, some of the rides with, uh, which have gotten new elements like the Giga Coaster. Um, but yeah, that, uh, those issues should have now been resolved. So they should now also get uh, the proper tunnels that uh, exist for, the, for uh, these rides. Now, and there was uh, one other bug where uh, if a ride was in your park, but it actually uh, hadn't uh, had been tested yet, so it had uh, undefined as its uh, stats or something like that here, uh, no test results yet, then uh, guests riding it would actually get, uh, basically the ride would get the maximum nausea <laughs> value. So a guest who would ride a ride which hadn't had its stats calculated yet, they would usually leave the ride very nauseous. But that has also been uh, fixed. Okay, that's the most exciting features, improvement, changes and fixes that were made in this new release. Uh, like I said, you can find the full change log in the link that I will leave in the video description. Now, uh, if you thought this video was useful or entertaining, or maybe you learned something, please uh, hit that like button. It would really help out my channel. And I would like to hear in the comments what you think of these kind of videos. Shall I keep uh, making these? All right, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.